Hi there. Welcome to another tutorial on non-destructive modeling in Blender. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a model with an Art Deco art style. So let's head over to Blender. To model the main building, add a plane to the scene, switch to edit mode and rotate it 90 degrees about the x-axis. Then select the top vertices of the plane and move them up along the z-axis. Finally, open the modifiers tab on the plane and add a solidify modifier. Now, create an empty object, which we will shortly use to add an array to the plane object. But before that, let's rename our objects to keep things organized. Now, select the plane object and add an array modifier. Select the object offset option and set the empty object as a target. Now we can select the empty object and rotate it about the y-axis to create a fan shape around the building. Apply some translation along the y-axis to give some offset to the fans and finally, apply scale along the z-axis which will give us an art deco impression. Select the plane and add a mirror modifier to finish the model of the main building. To add some weight to the bottom of our design, let's add an entrance at the foot of our building. To do this, add another plane and repeat the same process as before. I will fast forward this section of the video to keep things short. In the meantime, if you're finding this video helpful, hit the like button to support the channel. Now add a third plane, this time to model some radial beams around the building. These types of radial beams are a typical element of Art Deco designs. To add a back plate to our model, we will use another plane object. We will later create a material for this back plate to signify the sky behind our building. Now to clean things up and trim the excess parts of our model, we can give purpose to the default cube by using it as a boolean object. To do this, we can extrude and move the faces of the cube to create a frame around the model, and then add boolean modifiers to our objects and select that frame as the target. Now, to create an actual frame around our model, add the last and final plane we need for our design. Finally, Add a text object and rotate it 90 degrees about the x-axis. Then switch to edit mode to type in the title of your choice. Now open the text properties, set the alignment to center, and in the geometry section add some extrusion to the text. To add materials for our design, Let's start with the default material for everything, and then add variations for different objects. So let's switch to the shading viewport. To give our geometry some contrast, let's add some ambient occlusion. To do this, add an ambient occlusion node 
a color ramp node and an RGB mix node and set them up like this. I have a more detailed tutorial on ambient occlusion, which I will leave a link to in the description. To highlight the edges of our model and make them appear worn out, let's color the edges using a lighter shade. To do this, add a bevel node, a geometry node, and a vector math node. Link the normal values and set the vector operation to dot product. Now, duplicate the color ramp and RGB mix nodes and tweak them until you're happy with the look. I also have a separate tutorial on this type of edge effect which I will leave a link to in the description. To add some brush strokes to the material, add a texture coordinate node, a mapping node, a Voronoi texture node, and a bump node, and set them up like this. Now that we have a default material, we can duplicate it for each object and modify it specifically for that object. For example, let's add some grunge to the backplate. To do this, after duplicating the default material, delete the bevel effect nodes and instead add a Musgrave texture node, a color ramp node and an RGB mix node and configure them like this. Don't forget that all along we have followed an entirely non-destructive workflow to create this model. This means that you can always go back to the modifiers we have created along the process and easily make changes to the geometry by tweaking those modifiers. With this in mind, let me know in the comments what you think about non-destructive modeling. If you like it, or if you find traditional destructive workflows to be more effective, also let me know what you think about Art Deco aesthetics and if you want to see more tutorials in this style. Finally, don't forget to like and subscribe to help the channel. As for this video, thank you for watching, and until next time, take care.